Hi, I'm Rob with Hay Needle, and this is a short video on the assembly of the Cedar Chest Mission Bench. The estimated time in this assembly is around 45 minutes, and the only tool you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not provided. We'll start by opening our box and removing its contents, then locate your instructions. Inside, you'll find a parts and hardware list. Take a brief inventory to make sure you have all the pieces needed for this assembly. Using four of our pins labeled as one and four of our dowel rods labeled as three, we'll now pre-assemble our panels labeled as E. First, take your dowel rods and insert one into each of the four inside holes. Then we'll take our pins, insert one into each of the four outside holes, and once in place, take a Phillips head screwdriver and fully tighten. Repeat this step for your second panel E. Using two of our cam locks labeled as two, we'll now attach our panel labeled as D. To do so, making sure the groove are both going the same way, we're going to insert our pins and dowels into D, then insert your cam locks into the holes, and once in place, Take your Phillips head screwdriver and turn right to tighten. You're going to repeat this step on the opposite side using your panel C. Next, we'll take our panel B and slide in the groove of our pieces D and C. Once we have it slid all the way through, We'll then attach our second side labeled as E the same way we attached our first using four cam locks. Using four of our screws labeled as five, we'll now attach our first hinge labeled as nine. To do so, place into the groove, insert two of your screws into the top, and two into the side. We'll then use our Phillips head screwdriver to fully tighten. We'll repeat this step with our second hinge nine on the opposite side. Using three of our screws labeled as five, we'll now attach our lid labeled as A to our hinge. Line the holes up in the hinge with the holes in A and insert your screws. Once in place, we'll then take our Phillips head screwdriver and fully tighten. You'll repeat this step on the opposite side. Using two of our screws labeled five, we'll now attach our metal strip labeled as 10. We'll line up our metal strip with the holes in the top of A, then insert and tighten down our screws using our Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have both screws tightened in, you'll repeat this step on the opposite side. Now using four of our screws labeled as five, we'll attach our arms labeled as eight. To do so, start by taking a screw and your Phillips head screwdriver, lining up the holes with the top holes in your lid, and tightening into place. Once you have your first two screws in the top holes, you'll then insert your two screws into the bottom.
Repeat this step for the opposite side. Now using two of our screws labeled as seven, we'll attach our magnets labeled as six. To do so, locate the two holes on the inside. Then again, using your Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to line up the holes, insert our screws and tighten down. We'll again repeat this step for the opposite side. Now using two screws labeled as 10, we'll attach our pieces labeled as G. Line up the two holes in the back of G with the two holes on our top. We're going to take our Phillips head screwdriver, line up, and tighten into place. Once you have both of your screws in place, you'll then repeat this step for the opposite side. Our final step is to add our cushion and enjoy your new chest.